Helen. Is it Helen or Helene? It's Helene. 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 Okay. And tell me your last name. Erickson. Erickson. Helene Erickson. And you had hardly any accent. Don't you live in Germany? I lived in Germany, but I was born in, in the States. I grew up in Southern California. Oh, no wonder you left, sound. Yeah, I left for Europe when I was 20 and lived there for most of my life. Officially, I'm a German resident. Ah. And, and just got... Uh, residency there just from living there? Yeah, I studied, I did my doctoral work at the University of Göttingen. Oh, okay. And um, from there, I had already started teaching in the States before I left, but um, that's where I really launched my career was in Europe, in Germany. First. Great. And so you, you have your doctorate? I actually don't have my doctorate. After working 10 years in graduate school, mm -hmm. I decided it was better to be an employed dancer than an unemployed academician, and I got really fed up with my faculty, and so I have everything but the doctorate. No. Yeah. A year ago, October. Ah. And then we started in... Um, so the introductory weekend was in October, then we started at the beginning of um, last year did a year and a half, more or less. So it's 10 weekends, it's 10 weekend workshops, but I, in Seattle, I spread that over one, one year. We go from September, to, uh, from September to June, but here or in Europe, when I do that, I have to travel so often that I only come every two or three months, so it's spread over a year and a half, and the introductory weekend is a half a year in advance to that. So you come here for a weekend and then leave and come back? Yes. Okay, and then they um, teach themselves the rest of the dance. I mean, they, they t learn the dance with you, and then they practice it while and you're then gone. then they practice while I'm gone, exactly. But we have, every time I'm here, it's a 12-hour weekend. So wow. we have a lot, we really work hard when I'm here. So you've worked with these ladies for a year and a half? For a year and a half, that's Great. right. 10 weekends. Excellent. Oh, good. Well, there. I know I've talked to a lot of them, and they're all very excited about it. And oh, they're, uh, they're incredible. Excellent. It's, it's really nice to see, you know, people of all sorts of different levels. We've got absolute beginners and professional dancers, but so such diverse styles of dances that nobody has that kind of experience anyhow. So everybody brings something different to it, and it's it's like dance in real community. In real community, people of all ages and shapes and abilities get together and dance. And so that's, that's the idea of an Ardena, that we come together and use everybody's strengths to bring the whole thing. Okay, say the name again. Anar? Anardana. Anar means pomegranate. Oh, cool. And in Persian, in Dari, and in many languages. In Turkish, it's Nar. In Armenian, it's Nur. And dana is the seed. So when you open a pomegranate, you realize that the pomegranate is made of all of these beautiful seeds, mm -hmm. very similar, but each one completely different. And together they make a community, right? And they can make a community of fruit that is celebrated in the Middle East as a symbol of beauty, fertility, culture, lusciousness. Yeah. You're here, and then what? So. Um, this project comes to an end now, and my Seattle project will come to an end in June. My project that's going on in Berlin at the moment still has another year to go. Wow. But in the fall, I have the introductory weekends for three new projects. So September, Seattle starts anew. October, we have the introductory weekend for the Bay Area, and then we'll start that at the beginning of 2014. And then in November, I have the introductory weekend for a project that will start in southern Germany in Bavaria, which will also start at the beginning of 2014. Well, they're really enjoying it. And so you're developing quite a core of women that know these dances then. Well, yeah. It's what's really wonderful about a project like this is, as opposed to a weekend seminar. A weekend seminar is like going to a tapas restaurant, yeah? You'd get to try a little bit. Doing this is like going to the cooking school, yeah? So... You, you really, I get the chance to watch these women develop as dancers, as a community, as in their own personalities. It's, it's just, it's really, really rewarding work. Well, excellent. I'm, I'm really glad that you're here. And um, I actually like seeing the work in progress and watching you interact. And um, I think that'll be fun. And I'm sure tomorrow and the next night will be just packed. Yeah, and we have a really interesting, diverse program from North Africa to Central Asia. So the women will be performing a Moroccan dance of the Shekhat, the professional women of Morocco, a dance to classical Arabic music, Samai. <laughs> Roma 
dance from Hungary. <laughs> from Turkey. A dance from Armenia. Kurdistan and a dance from Afghanistan. In addition to which, I will be performing dancing um, a uh, two Persian dances in the Persian classical tradition. I'll be doing uh, Roma dances from Romania. Um, similar but different than to the Hungarian ones. I will be doing a different dance from Turkey called Misket. It's a spoon dance from the region around Ankara. And um, I'll be performing a Moroccan dance, the Raksasenea, with balancing a tray on your head. So what's really wonderful about this is just seeing the women really taking all of these traditional cultures seriously and really going in and learning something about them and presenting other people's culture in a really earnest way. So we hope that lots of you will come and enjoy the fruits, the harvest of the pomegranates. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome.